Lee well, coming back from what is a disappointing weekend, great first half, but coming away without points. And I asked you after the game, how did you deal with that? It's probably slightly easier because I think all the boys were really disappointed, but they knew they hadn't played poorly. They knew it was a decent performance and they knew on any other day then we would have got at least a point out of the game. But we've got to sucker punch, we've got to take that one, um, we've got to deal with that, we've got to move on, um, take the positives, we've been through it and showed the boys exactly what they did well. Um, we've got to continue that into the game against Queen's Park because that's going to be a tough game as well. And that, you're saying that's going to be a tough game, that's going to be one they're coming here thinking of the game that you had earlier in the season, mm -hmm. winning after being down. Now that's going to make it very special for them, so they're going to bring the Ray game. Yeah, you would think there's maybe a little bits and pieces in the background, but I think the bigger thing for Queen's Park is that they've gone a heck of a run of form. Other than the, the loss to Morton the other night, they've gone a heck of a run of form, and, and rightly so, are sitting in second place in the league. So we've got to see them as a, as a potential target to try and get above them. That's got to be our aim on the game. Uh, win the game and then we go above Queen's Park. But they've come up from the league below and really taken to the championship tremendously well. I think Owen's signed a few very, very good players to add to the good group of lads that he had last season. He's an experienced manager in himself, knows what it, is to take, uh, what it takes to get success. So we're not silly. We know it's going to be a really tough game again down here. But um, hopefully we continue doing the good things we're doing well and uh, a little bit more ruthless in the box then. It'll be a match for them. Jordan, over the last couple of days we've seen on the Facebook page great stats from you over this last little while. You've done really well with the team and you seem to enjoy this more attacking version of yourself over the last little while. Yeah, I mean, a modern day fullback now needs to defend and get forward as well and I love to go forward, that's a good attribute that I've got. So. The more, more I can add that to my game and help the team, hopefully the better. Now, I'm sorry, I've got to drag this back straight away. That goal against Dundee, we haven't really had a chance to ask you about it, but that, that, that was something special. Your first goal, senior goal for... And also, did you see your 100th full game in senior football? Yeah, I think that was it at the weekend. Uh, someone reminded me, so yeah, um, that was my 100th game at the weekend, I believe. Um, but yeah, the goal, it's, it was a great feeling, a relief as well, because it only took a while, you know, so... So you're saying that's one goal in a hundred games? No, it wasn't a hundred, but... Uh, <laughs> eight, ninety something. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a huge relief, and I was just happy to help the team at the end of the day. Now, uh, I said to the gaffer there at the beginning, it's that um, it was a disappointing result on Saturday. How did it feel as a, a team player? We hear it from the management team, but as a player, how did it feel for you? Yeah, I think I'll be reiterating what the, the gaffer said. I think on the pitch we felt comfortable and we should have won that game or at least come out with a point. And it is bitterly disappointing that we don't. However, we've got to just bounce back and go again because it's an our big game at the weekend. Rachel, you're now the top goal scorer in your league after your hat trick against Inverness on Sunday. How does that feel? Uh, it feels great, but. We're only seven weeks into the season and uh, there's a long way to go so to uh, stay at the top and to keep being consistent and help the team as well. So yeah. You scored your hat trick to make the score 3-1 in the game but it ended three each. How disappointing was it not to get the win after dominating for around 75 minutes? Yeah, uh, very disappointing. Like you've said, we dominated the game for most of the game but again we've just got to focus, learn from our mistakes and we, we move on. The Air United Football Academy won the best professional club in the community 2022 as well as playing for the ladies team you're one of the community coaches at the academy. Can you tell us a bit about what you do? Uh, yeah so we deliver uh, local programmes around the local community whether this be after school clubs, disability clubs or the summer camps or holiday camps. Yeah so it's good to see the local community coming together and getting involved in those. Rachel, you're facing Hutchie Vale again this week in the League Cup. How do you think that will go after the team beat them 5-2 only last weekend? Yeah, I think again it'll be another good challenge. It was a good game. Uh, I think the team just need to really focus and help each other out and we, we should be raring to go. Okay, back to you. Any players with injuries for the weekend, the squad, what have you got? 
No, I think um, we're in a pretty decent place with regards to the squad. I don't think we're carrying anything. It's good that Alex Kirk's fully recovered now from his ankle knock. Jaden's come back in and uh, was a bright spark when he got his break there. Logan's had a full week's training under his belt as well. Um, so there's we've talked about this in the past, haven't there? There's difficult decisions to be made in relation to what team we put out on Saturday. Uh, and ultimately, listen, that's what I'm. That's what I'm employed to do and I've got to try and pick a team from week to week and uh, try and pick an 11 that we see on that day as the team that can potentially win as the, win as the game. No one full fact that we've got quality on the bench to come on and, and steer it our way one way or the other if we're seeing a game out or need to go and nick a winner. Um, going back to you Jordan, um, you were telling me outside there that you've known about Logan and how he plays for quite a while. Uh, in the first game, how did you feel he did? Because he was really a partner, an attacking partner for you for a big part of that game. Yeah, I mean, I thought Logan done well at the weekend. It's obviously difficult because he's not even trained to the team before. Um, doesn't really know a lot of the boys, only playing against them last year. But yeah, I mean, I thought he done done well when he came on. And you can see the quality that he brings. He's, he's good in the ball and very technical. So I think that's only going to help us going forward.